So we're going to do a quick demonstration on the pulse generator, on how we're going to send a pulse down all the lines that we hook this up to. Um, we're going to be working on this house, and what we're actually looking for is the line coming from the, uh, the meter to the house. So we're going to hook this up at a hose bib on the house, we're going to get it tapping, and you'll actually, and we're going to listen. Um, in this case, it's going to be mostly concrete. We might have a small patch of grass that we'll show you where we're listening on. But we're going to listen for where the line is, mark the location, and then we'll know exactly where it lays out and how we're going to um, know where it is. So, so we screw in our pulse generator. We like to do it with the standpipe, but in some cases when you don't have the standpipe, just screw it directly on. You've got to use that waste hose to keep that water out of your way. Then we get water running through it, it's going to the waste hose to waste, and we start backing out our dial. We're going to slowly back it out, controlling the pressure going through until we get to the pulse. This is what the pulse sounds like. So the pulse is literally rattling everything that's tied to that. Now we're going to listen for the pulse. So when we're on flat concrete, we use our flat tip that's on the end of our soil probe. Once we get to a grassy area, we're going to unscrew that flat head and we're going to put our tip on. A lot of guys just use the tip on everything because it is super sensitive and you'll hear it. I like to use the flat head on it. It just gives it a, a little bit more depth as far as I'm concerned. So in grassy areas, what we're going to do is we're going to listen. We're going to get to the loudest point of the pipe, swing to the right and left and see uh, if it starts to dim out. In this case, it did. We have two markers on the grass side, and now we're tracing it to where it's going to come back under concrete. So again, he's going to put his flat head on. He knows he's got a lot of concrete to listen to. And we're going to move our way up, and we're going to start listening, and we're going to start marking what we need to mark, all just listening to this pulse. So we're going to swing. Again, when we, when we find that pulse, we're going to swing left, and we're going to sling right to see if we hear it dim. If it does, then we're getting further away from the actual line itself. So we're gonna swing hard right, hard left, and then we're always gonna mark where we're hearing our pipe directly, and we're gonna keep moving forward. Listening for that over the direct hit. Again, he's gonna swing back to his soil because we're getting to another grassy area, rocky area, landscape type area working his way through. We see it in the landscape here. And when we finally get up to the actual pulse, it's real loud because this is where that sound is being generated. So as we just demonstrated, we used the pulse generator to locate lines. In this case, we located a line that started out as copper, turned into PEX, and then stubbed back out of the ground as copper again, which is why the pulse generator is great. If you use any kind of other locator for that, it's not going to transfer that sound and you're not going to be able to locate it with PVC packs or any kind of plastic pipe. That's why the pulse generator works great because it works on PVC, plastic, copper, galvanized, whatever type of pipe you're using.